Walter, I think we're live. You ready to say hey to everybody? You ready to say hi? Let's get it pulled up. Let's get it pulled up on the big screen and we can say hey to everybody. Hello, hello, my friends. As you guys come in, say hello. Let us know you're here. How is everybody tonight? It's Friday, but it feels like a Saturday to me. Um, I guess because of the holiday, right? Walter, what you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here and say hey. Say hey to everybody. Say hey, look up there. Say hey, everybody. Hi. Walter's in the shop with us tonight, <laughs> so it's going to be entertaining for sure. So as you guys come in, say hello. Let me know you're here. Haven't seen any comments just yet, but I think I see people getting on. So Walter and I have had a wonderful Thanksgiving with family, and um, he has just had a blast these past couple of days. He's been a very busy little puppy. Busy, busy boy. So he's going to be helping us tonight make a wreath. Hanging out in the wreath shop. So say hey. Hey, Miss Susan. Walter, Miss Susan says hey. Miss Susan says hey. So he's got a new little bed over here. I brought him a bed down so that he can hang out with us. So I'm going to put him down and we'll let him come back up and say hey as other folks are getting on. Hey, Miss June, how are you? Good to see you. Um, Miss June, meet Walter. <laughs> Walter is our little newest member of the family, and he's just getting to know all of what we do. And um, he's a puppy, and so he's got little puppy ways. So here we go. Get right down there and play. I have given him a scrap piece of uh, mesh roll to play with, and he is having a blast right over here. So. He will just hang out in the background while we make our wreath tonight. I hope everyone has had a fabulous Thanksgiving. And uh, I am just going to refresh my screen so maybe I can see comments over here on the, on the big computer. And uh, we'll get started. So y'all tell me, how's your Thanksgiving been? Have you all had... Lots of good eats and are just stuffed to the brim. I know we are. We are full. I want to see the comments. Um, trying to get this over here so I can see your comments. Hey, Miss Mary. Oh, thank you. Yes, Susan Walter. He's a cutie. He sure is. He, uh, he keeps us entertained for sure. For sure. He is doing that. Okay, I'm going to come over here. And come back over here. There we go. So tonight we're going to do a grapevine wreath. It's just a quick little Christmas wreath. I've had these items hanging around the shop. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make this little wreath up. And get it out there because somebody might want it. So uh, we'll go ahead and get it out there get it made get it out there but yes we had a, a great thanksgiving and i hope you have too we went shopping for a little bit today uh we didn't buy much today because we just don't have much of a need so we did a little bit of christmas shopping for all the grandbabies and uh and then we came home and we've just kind of been chilling at the house so uh took a little nap so now i'm ready to make a wreath and i know it's kind of late so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to be using uh a 14 inch uh, oval. Is it 14 inch? Yes, it's a 14 inch oval grapevine. Uh, we're going to be using it tonight. And then I picked up this little sign at Walmart. Isn't that cute? So it says, Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then, guys, I also picked up this ribbon at Walmart. How cute is this ribbon? So I love the um, cream and the uh, green, so I thought that would make a really nice kind of woodsy 
uh, Christmas wreath. And then of course I have this beautiful pine. It's an iced pine, or I guess it's a fir. It's an iced fir with pine cone. So we're gonna use it. We may add a little pop of color with some white snowberries and then just some uh, long pine here. So that's what we're going to be using. So welcome, welcome. Y'all say, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know you're here. And we're going to just go ahead and jump on here and get started. Um, but yeah, Walmart has really upped their supply game. And I found this cute ribbon right there at Walmart. I was tickled. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And I'm glad I did because when I went back, they were all sold out of this sign. So I'm just going to take these tags off. Watch what you doing, man. What you doing? So Walter is right down here at my feet. And um, he has enjoyed, he has met all the grandchildren and played hard this week. Already. So I'm going to move these over here out of the way so we can just jump right in this and get started. Uh-oh, I dropped it. <clears throat> and y'all, look what else I found. Walmart had, and I may make a coordinating swag to go with this. Walmart had these cute little lights with the candles. How cute is that? So it's already got the candle in it, so we may make a coordinated swag to go with that. Wouldn't that be cute? I really like that. I'm telling you, Walmart, they surprised me. I was very good job. I was surprised. So, hey Miss Phyllis, hey Miss Georgia, how are you ladies tonight? Yes, this sweet little puppy. <laughs> he, he, um... Bless his heart, he is going to be so spoiled by the time we go back to work on Monday because he has had the run of the house and has just been able to rip, romp, and play and have a grand time. So right now he's got a stem from a, from a, uh, a floral pick that we cut up and he is having a blast playing with that stem. And uh, it's good for his little teeth. But yeah, he is my sweet little baby. And uh, we had all kind of offers this weekend or on Thanksgiving that if we ever needed a pet sitter, he, he's got plenty of places to go. Everybody is willing to take care of little Walter. <laughs> so guys, how's your Thanksgiving been? hope everyone has had a moment to reflect on our blessings we we did that yesterday and today and we are just really fortunate and very thankful for all that we have so I'm just doing a quick little bow right here let me zoom in for you guys I've just made this quick little little bow and Maybe that one's just a little bit too long. I want to make them a little bit shorter um, because this is a smaller wreath. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them at the five inch, just a little bit shorter, just a little bit. Walter, don't pull! No, Walter, don't pull! Walter is pulling on the ribbon. He's helping. He thinks I need assistance. So I am going to have to disengage this ribbon from him. Hey buddy, no. Thank you. So then this pretty, I love this pattern on here. It's kind of a Celtic look to it. Love this green. What you getting into, Walter? You can give it kind of a long tail. And then we're going to save this because I think we're going to make a, a topper for our lantern. And then I want to add some of this into it. Because isn't this pretty? I love this. This kind of gives it a little romantic look. I love this. Isn't that pretty? And I 
think we'll do one more and then this is going to be all the bow we need. Uh -oh. All the bow we need. And I cut this one wrong. There we go. Dovetailing it. All right. So we went to the stores this morning and um, we were able to find a few things, but y'all, I really didn't go crazy, but now is the time. If you guys have Hobby Lobby's, Michael's, Joann's, all of that around you, now is the time. They have their fall on great sales. Stock up for next year if you need to. Oh, you had turkey and all the trimming. Oh, how wonderful, Miss Phyllis. Robin, you need to come see me this weekend. I have your, I'll have your thing for your mom ready. So come see me and see Walter in person. Walter, come here. What you doing, man? Where you at? Where you at? Hey, baby. All right. And didn't that turn out pretty? So guys, if you're just joining us, we're making a pretty wreath here for Christmas. And it's going to be in the color, the green colors. Y'all, for this year, this is a very popular color this year. And it is absolutely one of my favorites. All right, Miss Robin, I'll send you a message in the morning. All right. So now I'm going to put my bow right here on my wreath. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm just putting it on with a wire. Just pulling it right in. Guys, I didn't even tell you. Welcome, welcome. I'm Karen Gresham and you're in Crafty Creations Wreath Shop tonight where we're making beautiful wreaths and florals for all your home decor needs and I teach the fundamentals of wreath making and tonight we are making a beautiful Christmas wreath with these green colors, these natural colors isn't that gorgeous? I love it and hold on, come here Sir Walter is with us tonight so so Sir Walter says, hello everybody, happy Thanksgiving, yes. So Sir Walter's with us, he's down here playing and uh, learning how to make a wreath himself. So, but welcome everybody, this is, this is kind of a late Friday night, just impromptu wreath making adventure. We have uh, had a good Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys have too. We've just been so blessed to have friends and family come around. All right, so now we've got our ribbon on there. Let's look at putting our sign. All right, Miss Robin, I will. So guys, our sign, I'm going to staple some uh, ties to it. Now when you staple on these little signs like this, let me see where I want it. I'm going to have it sit right in here. I love these wood beads on here. Alright, so we're going to staple right here. I'm going to turn this this way and staple right into that wood. Give it a little twist. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here on this side. And actually, I'm going to go right in deeper right here. Right there. I like that. That's a little more secure and it's not going to split. And then I'm going to come right down here to the bottom. Same thing. And 
then I think I'm going to just, for extra security, put a little dabble of glue. Just a dab do you? Just a little dab. Walter, what you playing with, man? Are you playing with your Walter-approved toys? All right, now I'm going to put this on my... Grapevine. I'm just going to, that's what I love about using these wires. I'm just going to poke them right down through there. So I got Walter a little bed. They had little pet beds for sale, on sale at Tractor Supply today. So I had to go get some horse feed. So uh, we got him a new little bed, a little Walter approved bed for in here. And right now he is over destroying it. So we'll see how long this little bed lasts. Walter, stop. Settle down. That's supposed to last you. That is not supposed to be a destruction, a quick destruction. All right. So let's get that one tied down. Let's get this one tied in. <laughs> Y'all hear him? He is going to town. Robin, he is a cutie. And he has brought so much life and joy to our, our little home. And my husband, I'll tell you what, he has my husband wrapped. think he's going to be, he's both of our dogs, but you know, a dog has one master, and I think my husband's going to be his. Walter is, Troy can come in, and, and Walter is just right up under him, like stuck to him, and he'll sit on his feet. <laughs> Troy's like, what is this dog doing? I said, he's wanting to be near you. So, guys, I'm just getting this put on here really good and tucked in and secured. Twisting it around. Now we have our sign attached. Loving this. Let's rework our ribbon. Walter, come back over here, buddy. Come on. All right. Isn't that going to be cute? I'm loving this. Bring your cuteness over here, Walter. Come on, buddy. All right, now we're going to put our greens around our sign. So we created our focal point. We used our bow. And then we put our sign there. So y'all, um, we'll take these little... I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to see if I can keep that intact right there and just cut this right here. With these wire cutters. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Walter, what was that? He's like, oh, goodness. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, we are going to add, and this came wrapped. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing. Here we go. This came wrapped. So I'm just going to wrap that back up on it, put a little glue on it, and stick this right up in here. A little hot glue. And just start us some greenery. Isn't that going to be pretty? I don't need this that big, so I'm going to cut it again. Oh. These are some good wire cutters, y'all. 
Walter, what are you doing? So this is going to be kind of a an easy wintry design. But it's going to be Christmassy because we've got our Merry Little Christmas on here. And I only got two of these, so let's see how I want to do this. Oh, cut. There we go. Goodness gracious. Sometimes you just have to use a little muscle on it, don't you? So what was the, uh, what was the favorite dish at your Thanksgiving meal this year? My son brought brisket. He did a brisket. And, uh, so we had two turkeys and a brisket. And I think the brisket was the favorite this year. Hello, Danae. Miss Beaumont, Texas is in the house. <laughs> I do not know what little man is all up in. Hey, over here, buddy. Over here. That is not for you to eat. That is not a Walter dish. That is not for Walter. Walter's toys are over here. Look, there's your toys right there. Okay. Sorry, I had to get him. He was eating a straw hay bale that I had over here. Thinking it was his his dish. Not really a Walter dish. Alright, guys. There, isn't that going to be pretty? That pine just around that. Look at how pretty that turned into. And he's back at it again. I'm going to have to be a little bit more stern in my instructions, I do believe. Okay, Walter, get back over here. So y'all, we're just picking these sprays apart and creating a woodland A woodland woodsy look for our wreath. We've got the glue string. And these have this, I don't know what this is, but I don't like it, so I cut it off. There we go. Hey man, what you doing? What you doing, little man? y'all think about this green? Do we like it? Hey Miss Ann, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. To everybody that's out here. If you guys are watching on replay, hashtag replay and let us know you're watching. Let us know you're there. As we are making a beautiful winter wreath. making a mess while we're making something beautiful he's making a mess how about that Walter. <laughs> oh no, guys. No, 
that's it. You will have those chewed up in a heartbeat. Over here, look, here's your toy. Look, here's your toy. Here's your toy. He's like, I'm not interested in that. I want the good stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use these little berries. I don't think I'm going to put the berries in it. The berries bring too, too much glitter, so they're a no-go. But we will do another round of the cedar in here. And I'm going to actually break it up even thinner than what I did there. Oh, yes, Danae, me too. The woodland is one of my favorite designs to do. Absolute favorites. I love making it just come around and pop and look so pretty. I love it when it's got multiple layers in it. just has a warm and inviting feel to it, doesn't it? Alright, so this came undone, so I'm going to have to put a pick on it. I'm going to put a steel pick on it right quick because it came a little undone. to go right there. So uh, this weekend I'm going to be putting my tree up. So excited. I know some of you guys have already got your trees up but we always wait till after Thanksgiving. So tomorrow I will be putting my tree up and decorating. I'm not putting everything out this year because we do have the house on the market, so I've got to kind of be aware, and I'm just not going to put everything out, because it just be too much. But, I'm going to put my tree up. I'm going to put my Santas out. We're going to decorate with the snowmen at the front of the driveway, and that'll be... That'll probably be all we do this year. But that will be enough. Y'all, my hair is all over the place today. <clears throat> I have run out of my <laughs> hairspray stuff, so I got to go make a trip and get some, but I didn't go by there today. So it's just doing what it wants to. It's time for me to go get it cut. We got a little bit, bit too many pine cones right up in here. So I'm gonna cut this one off. And I'm gonna cut this big one out. That's going to allow that bow to sit down a little bit easier right there. And that didn't really adhere, so you put that back in. That really didn't get up in there like I needed it to. Now, there we go. And then what I can do is these have little wires on them. So I'm going to just take them and wire them further out on my branches. And use them that way. And this one's really pretty. But this wire is a little too short. So I can add another piece of wire. Hey Miss Suzanne. Yeah, we just decided we needed to come down here and have some fun in the wreath shop tonight. It wasn't planned. 
Y'all, I'm just weaving this wire right through this base of this pine cone. Okay. Oh, sir. Why? Why do you have that? And I think we're going to put it right up in here. See where I want this. Walter has destroyed the pumpkin. Give me that. You don't need all that glitter in your belly. You do not need all the glitter in your belly. Give it up. Ah, I got it. Okay. Y'all, that was a quick and easy design, wasn't it? Isn't that pretty? So it's just kind of a lot of love right in here. I'm thinking I need a piece of greenery right there. Let me get one more of this. Uh, right here. No, you can't have ribbon either. So Walter is a... Uh, no, no. Going to make me have to put everything up on counters. It's like having a baby, y'all. It's like having a baby. He is a baby. He is just a little, little Walter man. Okay, I was going to put some greenery right there by that bow but I don't want a big piece of greenery so I'm going to cut this down and see putting this right in there and I'm going to cut that and I'm going to give it a pick because it's multiple little pieces in there and I want it to stick right down in this wreath. I want it to go right down in there. Just like that. Yeah. And I think I'm going to cut that pine comb off. And put my pine comb. right up here by my sign twigs down the other side. Oh, please. <laughs> Walter, no. No, that is not for you, buddy. He's having a blast, guys. But he says, everything I want to play with, Mama takes it away. Play with that. Took it away. 
That mom, I tell you, she just won't let him have nothing, y'all. But he's doing so good on his potty training. He's beginning to go to the door and let us know when he wants to go out. Walter, no sir, no sir, no sir, no sir, no sir. Not for you. I don't like that there. Take it out. I don't like that there. Take it out. I just like the one little piece right here. Alright. Guys, I think I'm going to call this one done. So look at look at how pretty it turned out. Didn't that turn out pretty? All right. So now, if y'all want to stay with me, I'll go ahead and make this uh, lantern. Y'all want to make the lantern? Let's see what we can do. So we'll have a coordinating lantern swag. I think that'll be really, really pretty. Now, this is not going to need much. So, and it's got a little try me light that I'm going to leave on there. When I put it in my shop, they can try it. And then we're just going to attach that bow right there. It's just going to be a simple little bow. Y'all, and this ribbon came from Walmart. Can you believe it? Isn't it pretty? So we're going to just... This one, I think I'm going to do... I don't want it too big because this is a smaller lantern. This lantern, guys, came from Walmart, too. All right. So I'm going to build one loop. No, sir. There, play with that. <laughs> Walter is having a blast. He always does when he comes down to the shop with Mom. So there, we're going to do that. like that and then we're just going to add two loops need to be just a smidge bigger and then put a let's see if I got a green zip tie yeah it's the wrong color green though so I'm going to go to the clear I'll use a clear one Walter all right I know, Suzanne, they did. They came from Walmart. The sign, the ribbons, and the lantern all came from Walmart. I was shocked. Aren't they gorgeous? So, Danae, you have a lantern a friend gave you for Christmas? Oh, yes, that'll be fun. That's going to be really pretty, too. All right, so we've got that. And, of course, I am not using these as in their full capacity. So, let me get them cut. Because that would be just way too big. Let me get it cut. 
Walter. Walter. Uh oh. There we go. Y'all hold on a minute. Walter, you cannot have all of those. No, sir. No, no, no. And you knew it was a no. No, no. Drop it. You knew it was a no-no because you came running through here with it. You knew it was a no-no. No-no. Come on. No. Come on over here, you little, you little puppy. Look up there. Say hey, everybody. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Get over there. <laughs> Look at this. Look, Look at that. That's a good toy. I need to find a ball. Okay, back to it. So, uh, yeah, that's that's about the size we need right there. Right there. So, I'm going to cut this right here. If I can, this stem is so thick. Okay. Y'all, it was cold in my shop earlier, so I turned on my heater, and now it is, like, burning. It's like an inferno in here. It is hot. Okay, so I'm going to put these two things together. It's still a little bit long. Still a little long. What I may do, I think what I'm going to do is cut these two. These three. And I'm going to attach them together but just not on that big old long piece and I'm going to zip them right here to this that's going to make it a little shorter because guys I want my scale to be proportionate for my lantern so let me zip tie these together Well, Danae, be sure and post it and let us see it. We'd love to see it. Definitely. All right. So I've got these two together. And just kind of secured that on there. It's not going anywhere. And now I can move these like I need for them to be. And have them on this. Still keeping, I may move those pine combs, guys. Y'all know how I feel about the pine combs. Alright, so there's that. And then we put our bow on there. Still, I want to make sure. I'm not liking the way that one sticks out so far. So I'm going to cut it and move it up in here. And I may do the same with this one. I'm going to cut them. And we'll put them in the bow. Same with this one. We'll move it down. Oh my goodness, Walter. No, buddy. So Walter has now pulled a ghost off the wall. has found a ghost. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh. Okay. So now these I'm going to Slip them in right here. I want them to go right in here closer up. But I'm going to go ahead and get my... I'm going to go ahead and get my... Uh, cedar boughs in there with it. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Them right in there. Oh, this is going to be 
is so pretty. So y'all, when y'all are putting your designs together, think about coordinating pieces. It's a great way to add interest and have a designer look. Love it. And then we're going to put <laughs> oh, Hurricane Walter over there. We're going to put this little piece right in here, and that's all we're going to need right there. <laughs> oh, he's over there digging something out, guys. All right. Yeah, this is going to be just the right size. That adjustment on those really made a difference. I really like that. I am going to take these pine cones off because they're going to be right in the way of the bow. And then we will add them later. What are you doing? You running a race? You running a race? So, he has a lot of energy, guys. He is having a lot of fun. I can see him. He is ripping and romping all around. I think I'm going to wrap this, guys, with some floral tape. Just to give it a smoother finish. He's fine. Walter's right here beside me. <laughs> he is ripping and romping, isn't he? Having a blast. Well, he had to stay in his crate for a little while while we went shopping today. And when we left the house, it was heartbreaking to hear him in there howling. But he settled down. And when we got home, he was quiet. And then when he heard us come in, it was like, Ah! Y'all are home. Let me out. And he went right outside, did his business like a good little man. I was so proud of him. All right, now I'm going to secure my bow. And I'm actually going to put a different wire to put it on my lantern. Because I want it to... doing? No, sir. Stop. <laughs> Y'all, the fun a puppy brings is, is amazing. It's like having a baby, though. You do have to keep an eye on them. All right, now we'll get our next wire. Put it right around here. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it with a ribbon. I think I'm gonna tie it with ribbon. going to lay this down. I'm going to tie this ribbon on the back right here. 
This is going to cover up all those mechanics. And y'all, I'm keeping this simple because remember, our wreath is simple. And this is just a simple little country design. And I'm going to put a little piece of this back here as well. I'm going to put it right through right here. And then now, whoever gets this, if they want to change up this design and put something different in the spring, this will come right off and make for a spring design. And it's still pretty in the back. just as pretty in the back as it is in the front. Just like that. Now we got to now we got to play a little bit. Because we've got all of our stuff turned under and this came out so I'm going to glue it in. Stick it right in with some glue. Rearrange these a little bit. I want this to drape and I want this to come to the front. And I'm going to need a little bit more right up in here. Right in there. Look how pretty it's turning out, ladies and gentlemen. Home. Up in here, we'll add another one right over here, right in there. Let's see. Very pretty. All right, I need to put some wire on our pine cone. Where'd my wire go? Here it is. Hey, Miss Patty. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Miss Laura. Welcome, welcome. Y'all, we've made a beautiful woodland wreath, and now we're making a coordinating lantern swag to go with it. And we're just admiring what we found at Walmart, guys. We found all this at Walmart. Well, the lantern, the ribbons, and the uh, sign for our, our wreath all came from Walmart. Isn't that crazy? And I am reallocating my pine cone to where I want it. Put some little baby pine cones right there. I think I'll pull those down. There we go. I have this one right here. I think we'll put that one right there. Oh, he is over here <laughs> digging in his bed. Look at that. He's 
doing a ball. Yeah, he's good. Thank you, Robin. He was over here digging in his bed. I'm hoping this bed's going to last because he seems to like to dig on it. Why do they dig on their beds? Anybody know? Does that mean he likes it? I don't know. What you doing, buddy? I see you. All right, yeah, I like that pine comb there, and I think we're gonna add, we're gonna add this one up here, just to kind of balance it out. All right, and then I'll show y'all what we made. Got a couple little pieces left, but y'all, I don't think we need them in this. And I don't particularly like that pine comb. I'm going to go with, I've got some more that are just kind of sitting over here. That was too big. That one's perfect. I may put that one on the other side, but I'm going to put this one right here. Well, uh-uh, no, no. No. Do not play with the nutcracker. I can see right now I'm going to have to come down here and puppy proof the shop. He's a lot more rowdy than he was the first time he was in here. <laughs> I love my little Walter. I love my little man. Yes, I do. Where did my other? There it is. There it is. How did it get off over there? Alright. I don't know, but I want it under here. There we go. And then, when we turn it on, you'll have a little glow in there. And that just turned out really pretty. I really like it. You can still see your lantern. And y'all, if you wanted to really dress this up, you could put some little foam down here and uh, add, add your, some more of your cedar around this bottom of your light. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. Just to uh, bring it to life down here at the bottom as well. Cut these pieces. So to, to do and put those around there like that, I could just glue them right to that bottom right there and cover them all over with some moss. And I could put just a very light layer of foam in there. Wouldn't that be pretty to add that in? like that. Lay it around it with your pine combs in there. And then that will complete your look. Wouldn't that be pretty? So don't forget, especially in these open lanterns, that you have options like that. And I think, let's see, do I have any little pieces? I really don't. I think what I'm going to do is hot glue them onto that. And then, so that you can't see the glue, I may put some uh, moss 
I'm going to think about that a minute. How do I want to put But I do like, and I may just lay it in there, and then that way when you want to change it out, you can take them out. But isn't that pretty? And it looks pretty all the way around. Beautimous. Oh, look, y'all, he's laying down. He laid down. Y'all can't see him. Walter, come here, baby. Nobody wants to say hello. Walter's tired. So we're going to take Walter and go up to the house and go to bed. We're going to go feed the horses, and then we're going to go to bed. But this is how you can take and coordinate your lantern and your wreath and have a gorgeous matched set. Isn't that pretty? So I hope y'all enjoyed visiting with me and Walter tonight. We had a lot of fun visiting with you guys. And uh, we will see you again soon. Guys, don't forget, if you haven't already joined my text message list, be sure to text 334-373-1443 and get on the text message service so you can know when I'm going live. I'll send out messages. Y'all can know when we go live. And then also, um, we are still uh, having a lot of fun in Karen's Creative Crew. If you have any interest in getting step-by-step -step instruction on how to make beautiful designs of your own, come join us in Karen's Creative Crew. You can find the information for that at karenscreativecrew.com. Walter and I are going to say good night, and we will see you guys again soon. So, y'all have a blessed evening, and until I see you again, stay safe, count your blessings, give somebody a hug, Good night, everybody.